I am Ruth Samoida, and I am one of the few women over 40 epi fencers in the New York City region. I was introduced to fencing my freshman year in college. I had come from a rural high school and ended up at St. John's University in Queens. And um, freshman fair, September, went to the parking lot where there were tables spread out across the parking lot and I saw a table with fencing weapons displayed on it. I made a beeline for that table and I picked up a foil and I fell in love. I started fencing when I was 18 and yeah, more or less a, a daredevil. So when you see the tip of a sword coming at your face, the speed of lightning, you're not afraid at 18. You're like, whoa, this is fun. But when you're older, that's kind of scary. You have more to lose. Well, after I had my third and final baby, I, you know, had held on to my fencing equipment for almost 20 years. So I felt like it was time to go back. I looked up the Fencers Club, which I had known 20 years previous, and I put my stuff in my old bag and got on the subway and made my way to 25th Street. I felt like I was back in my element and started going to the club three, four times a week. You know, as, as much as, as a feminist as I am, when I'm fencing men, I'm up against stronger, faster, more driven uh, bodies and personalities. And that just makes me a, you know, a stronger fencer. So that when I eventually go to these national tournaments, I like to think I have an edge because I've been training with uh, higher, higher caliber fencers. One of my proudest fencing moments was at Pittsburgh in December 2009. It was a national competition. And I was in the semifinals and fencing against a, an Olympic, Olympic foilist from Finland. And I remember, you know, saluting everybody, thanking everybody who was applauding for me and then turning around to unhook myself and walking back to the end of the strip. And uh, that was like a, a moment alone with myself after I had just done something that really made me proud. And I remember smiling to myself as I unhooked. And that, that's something that will you know, stay with me forever.